This is Roger Struckoff with Syscon TV, day two at Cloud Expo Javits Center, New York, June 2017. And we're joined now by Brad Winnett with DDN. And, you know, he wants to talk about storage. Uh, so, you know, like with all this cloud computing stuff, I guess storage is part of that equation. And welcome, by the way. Thanks, Roger. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. So cloud computing is certainly changing how people consume storage, how they use it, what they use it for, and it's also making people rethink how they architect their environment. So cloud is an enabler in many ways, both the public cloud, but also private cloud as well. So DDN is a provider of high scale, high performance storage that is applicable to certain cloud environments. It's also applicable for on-premise uh, requirements as well. Right. And we're encouraging our customer base, as I'm assuming yours too, to make the right decisions about what to do where as it comes to storage and what they're doing with their data. Well, you know, the interesting thing is uh, data, as we know, is growing like crazy. I, I use a number of 28% a year, but um, within the enterprise, all I know is that every enterprise faces a big challenge. The, and the storage needs don't evolve like in a direct line with that. I mean, new types of data, uh, lots of types of data, streams that it had anticipated, some of it's stored, some of it's not, some of it needs access all the time, some of it doesn't. I mean, this is a complex picture, I, the way I look at it. How do you guys deal with all that? It's tough. I think what we've seen over the course of really quite a long time is that there's step functions. Okay. So there's general growth and then something changes and then there's a big leap and then there's growth and there's another big leap. So we're certainly seeing it in the public cloud where more and more of the data types that are being delivered and stored are rich media types. Uh, things like big images getting yeah. bigger and video and video getting bigger. So that's a big step function. And especially the democratization of it where people on their cell phones can upload as much as they possibly want is a huge step function. So it's really putting a lot of pressure on how to manage the data, how to store it, as well as the usage model. So it, it is, uh, it's, may you live in interesting times, it's very uncertain, <laughs> and somehow we have to figure out how to, how to work with that. Yeah, we do, but on the other hand, I always say it, things are simpler, we wouldn't have jobs, you know, so. <laughs> but, you know, when customers, when you're talking to them, how much of their problems do they, you know, they, don't, they, they, they know they have a challenge. How, many, how much of their problems do they really know that they have? I mean, do you have to educate them sometimes maybe to delve into the complexity of solving their problems? Or are they coming to you going, yeah, we know what's wrong, help us? I think it's a combination. I think in general, the customer knows what their pain points are. So, so to part of the, the process is what, what's making you hurt, right? What, what's keeping you up at night? Why are you working weekends? It turns out a lot of times they don't know that it's their storage. You know, they know they have a storage problem, but why is their architecture inefficient? Why are they spending so much money? So part of what DDN does as a company is be very consultative and trying to really get under the covers and try and figure out the root causes for pain. And if we can do that well, then we can often provide solutions to address the pain, which they might not have translated to an actual technical issue necessarily. So there's a definite balance of the two. And with technology changing so fast, we can help as a, uh, as really a provider who sort of pushes the envelope in many ways. You know, a lot of times people talk about legacy IT, and I think when they do, they're, they're, they're thinking processing. They're thinking mainframes. They're thinking, you know, even uh, older servers. They're not thinking storage subsystems. They're not thinking, so you got a lot of NAS here, and you got a, you got a lot of SANS over here, and you got a, a people virtualizing things here, and you've got a lot of local storage, and, and you got legacy networks, and and um, the tiers, and all, I mean, I, again, are customers able to define the scope, the detail, or is it maybe that's your job is what I'm hearing, is to dig down and find the granularity and find the, like I said, they know they have a problem, might not know exactly where it's at. So I guess my question is, how do you deal with all that legacy storage as well as trying to bring them up to the 21st century? You know, that's, it's always an issue and often a requirement for a customer that they have to depreciate what they currently have or, or, re, or, or squeeze out the last little bit of value from the environment they have. The challenge though, and you mentioned it earlier, is there's so much growth that it, it kind of requires a constant level of investment. And the challenge though is trying to do it in the right way. And it's very often that DDN will come in 
and try and re-architect something in a way that maybe the customer hadn't thought of. A new way of doing things, there's a new technology that might allow you to make sort of these quantum leaps in capabilities um, that it's just impossible for any normal human to keep up with everything when they actually have a day job in, in their IT group. Right, they, that's the thing, they may be an enterprise IT professional, but they don't do this for a living, and, right. and you do. What about the solid state stuff that's emerging? I mean, what, what sort of um, what sort of changes are that bringing? I'm, I've had people tell me at data centers, for example, that it's uh, changing their lives fundamentally. There are a bunch of macro changes happening in the storage world right now. So public cloud or off-prem versus on-prem is, certain, is certainly a big one. Uh, the type of storage, flash versus rotating disk versus 3D crosspoint and memristor and everything else. Uh, the types of networks from Ether, from SAN to Ethernet to NVMe over fabric, there's just so many macro changes that it's very unclear in a lot of ways, uh, especially to, again, the average human in IT department, what the right thing to do is. So it's a challenge. It's, it's also, from DDN's perspective, it's our opportunity. So it's our opportunity to come in and as a company who has always been on the edge and pushing the envelope to, to take these newest technologies, bring them to market faster, hopefully, than some of our competitors, and help educate customers on the way and provide real value. How do they find you online? What, what, what's your URL? DDN.com. You can't beat that. It's just, it's it's like, uh, it's just so simple, and I'm, you're going to find, I'm sure, all sorts of research and all sorts of stuff that they're doing, because these are complex issues. He's not going to tell you that it's easy, but he is going to tell you that they can solve your problems and maybe find problems, find the roots of problems that you know you have, but you don't know why. He's going to tell you why. They know. DDN, thanks a lot for joining us. Thanks a lot for watching. For Syscon TV, this is Roger Strokoff.